it can be simple. I get in, I do my magic, and boom. Please provide us your user ID and password. Hi, my name is Krishna. I'm 34 years old. I'm a cybersecurity penetration tester. We look for vulnerabilities in systems in the company's network and try to further exploit the systems if we are permitted to do so. In a simpler way of saying it, it is a way of securing your house. We will probably test if the jaw is slightly ajar or if the windows are slightly open and which are the techniques or methods thieves can enter through. Bruh. So once when we break in the systems, normally we will not go further to extract any confidential information from the systems. In the hacker realm, we have black hats and white hats. White hats are those who try to break into the system to further secure the system. A black hat, of course, um, once he's in, he does malicious activities. We have 20% of admin work to be done where we meet our clients, colleagues uh, for knowledge sharing. About 30% is kept for research because technology is moving so fast, we have to keep up to it. The actual work is actually about 50% of the day. It depends on the client's engagement that we have on hand. The more common engagements that we do are web application pen testing, where we find bugs or vulnerabilities on the web application. We also do source code review, where a tester actually reads line by line of the source code. We also have upcoming activities such as red teaming. So in a physical aspect, we will actually attempt to break through the company's physical security to get into the server room or an access, a network access point where we can plug in our NAND cable. The assume breach aspect is where we attempt to further move into the network to gather more sensitive information or rather break other missions. Hacking isn't just like in the movies where you just plug it in and you start hacking. There's a lot of preparation that has to be done. It takes sometimes weeks or months to plan before you can even execute and exploit. Being a tech person in the office, sometimes they still do come to me for Wi-Fi problems, but it's not my job. Hey Krishna, no Wi-Fi Really? So I started off my education in NITEC and high NITEC. I took an information technology course. Followed by that, I actually started off in my career path as a desktop engineer. And then I moved on to being a system engineer. And while I was being a system engineer, I did my diploma in information technology and I proceeded on to do my degree in computer security. After obtaining that degree, I managed to get a job as a junior pen tester. So after a junior pen tester position, it took me about at least three years to get a senior penetration tester role. Well then, it's hacking time. When we do see a thumb drive lying around, we are tempted to actually perform forensics to find data that are not supposed to be seen by us. No, but we don't do it because we are white hat hackers. Soft skills. Creative mind will be good. And we also require good time management as sometimes we do run multiple projects in a week. Hard skills. Hard skills are your technical skills like understanding how a system works. Understanding of a network diagram, a good programming background will really do well. You can also take up the OSCP course. It's a 30 to 90 days subscription, like a lab time you have, that shows you different techniques and methods that you can compromise a system. At the end of it, there will be a 24 hours exam it actually really tests your knowledge, your hard skills on how to hack a system. Once you've got this, all these hard skills, you can actually try out on bounty programs. Bounty programs are offered by corporations for hackers to come in and test their systems or applications. And they do get a reward based on how big the bug that they have found. So the bigger the bug, the bigger the reward. Um, you can also download vulnerable missions and test your skill sets on those. The more you do, the better you become.